Hey everyone, my name is Alexandra and I am a watercolor artist. It is officially the first day of summer today, so I was trying to think of something summery that I could teach you guys to paint. So today we are going to learn how to paint some watercolor lemons. Let's get started. Today I'll be using an 8x10 watercolor paper. Here I have 140 pound cold press. For this painting I'm using a mixture of different paints. The main colors that I'll be using is green, yellow, and then I mix in a little bit of blue and red. But you guys are welcome to use whichever palette you want that you have on hand. I'm using three different paint brushes, Opus Allegro, 8, 4, and 2, but you guys can just use a mixture of any small, medium, and large paintbrushes. A napkin for drying your paintbrushes, and two cups of water. Now that you guys have all your supplies ready, we can get started painting. So this painting is just going to have some lemons, lemon slices, sort of scattered around. So we're just going to start with our first lemon. Draw a circle. I'm going to do mine sort of center left. Really light, really loose. Does not need to be too specific. And we're just gonna start with that and we'll add more to our paper as we go. So when you guys draw this out, make sure to either draw super, super light or erase most of the pencil. Because we're painting with a lot of yellow, pencil is something that you'll see through the paint, so we want to almost make it disappear. And now for that circle that you drew, the first thing we're going to paint is going to be a lemon slice. So I want you guys sort of at the center of your circle to draw a tiny little dot. This will just be reference for us for where the center is and it'll make it a little bit easier when we're painting. Alright, so I'm going to grab my smaller paintbrush using my number four here and we're gonna get started. So first we will paint the outside and I'm just grabbing some yellow from my palette here and I'm gonna go around where I've drawn the pencil line. Now this circle that you guys are painting does not have to be even by any means. We're just going to keep everything, yeah, just really loose, fun, play around with the colors. So now what we're going to do, this is the fun part, is with our paintbrush we are not going to paint over the dot in the center. We're going to go up to it. I rinsed it off in my water, rinsed it off in my clean water, and I'm going to paint a triangle of water coming towards the center. And if you want, you can do a few of those right off the bat. So none of my triangles are touching where I've drawn my pencil line. Now with this you'll have to work pretty quickly before it dries, but we're going to go in and add some of our yellow. I'm going to make sure it's really watered down for this one. And I'm just going to add it in to where I've already placed the water. So you'll see really faint yellow triangles. And we're going to do a few more. If you guys want, you don't have to start with clear water. You could just start with really yellow. We're going to go all the way around. Now just to create some more depth in it. I'm going to take a bit of a brighter yellow and sort of just dot it in in places. We're going to be adding more details on top later, so 
Doesn't really matter how you do this. I just wanna add so that it has some shadows, some lighter colors. Now we need to let this dry a little bit before adding any more details. So I'm gonna leave this one here how it is and next we're going to paint one of our lemons. So I'll give you guys some guidance on how to draw this. Feel free to pause at any time if you're yeah, confused, need some help. If you guys wanna go right away with your paintbrush, also go for it. I'm just drawing it out as a bit of a reference. So the idea is that we're drawing sort of an oval shape. And at each end, we just have a little, little bump to make this one actually a little bit more oval. Also, if you guys have actual lemons sort of near you at your house, feel free to grab them, cut some slices, use it as reference when you're doing this part. So again, I'm gonna just make it stick out a little bit more. And now I wanna go in with my eraser, make it super, super light so that almost none of the pencil is showing. All right, now for this part, we get to have a little bit of fun with some shading. So I'm rinsing my paintbrush. I'm taking my bigger paintbrush, so now I'm using my number eight, rinsing it in my water. Because I've only used yellow so far, it doesn't really matter if you go into your dirty or clean cup. And I am going to paint in the lemon that I've drawn. So this will be a little tricky to see on the video, but as I add color, you guys will see right away. So now with this lemon, I want to make it look a little bit more 3D. So when I'm adding the color, I'm actually only gonna start sort of on the bottom here. I'm just gonna let it mix in itself. And as I come towards the top, I'm rinsing my paintbrush with water and I'm essentially just pulling the color up that I already had at the base here. So now I want to shade it even more, I want to give it a bit more of a natural color. So I'm gonna take, I have sort of a reddish orange already mixed in here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that, make sure it's not too bright on my paintbrush. And I'm also just gonna add this into the base here. Again, we're just playing around with the colors, mixing them in. Now I'm gonna go in, add a little bit more yellow around the top, but I'm being really careful to leave some nice white space there as well. All right, and now we're gonna leave this one, let it dry, and we are going to paint a lemon slice. So for this, if you wanna lay out your paper and plan it a little better, feel free to draw out ahead of time, but I am just gonna go for it. So I'm taking yellow paint using my number four paintbrush again, and I'm just gonna draw, I'm gonna go in here and just draw a curved line. So sort of a flattened out C shape. And this is with my yellow. And now following the same concept that we did for this lemon, we're gonna do the triangles going towards the center. Just to make it easier for me, I'm gonna take my pencil and do a little dot right in between the two ends of my C curve. So that's where I'll have each section, each piece of the lemon <laughs> pointing in towards. And I'm also gonna start from the edges just to make sure that I get the shape nice and proportionate. So starting from the edge, we're doing triangle in, same on the other side. And then we'll just paint more of these until they all line up. Also, if your guys' triangles bump into each other and you don't quite have the white space, that is okay. 
So now again, we're, we'll add some more yellow in there. And then once it dries, we'll go in with more detail. All right, so I want another lemon like this one. We're gonna put it down here. So you guys feel free to draw it out first if you want. I'm just gonna go for it and paint this one. So because I'm not following an outline, I'm just gonna start with really, really light yellow paint. And then I'll add more darker colors as I go. So when I was thinking about the first day of summer coming up, I was trying to decide what to teach you all. And yeah, just trying to think of summer things. And I recently talked to some kids that were telling me about how they set up a lemonade stand and they've been doing that now for a few days. And immediately I thought, honestly, that is something that definitely makes me think of summer. It's very nostalgic. So this is why I decided that I would teach you guys to paint some lemons because it's one of those things that honestly you see and it just feels like summer. Such a happy color and just such a fun, fun memory for anyone that has done lemonade stands <laughs> when they were younger. Okay, so I have that painted out super, super light yellow. Again, I'm going in with a little bit of a brighter color. I'm just gonna go sort of on the bottom. I have a little bit too much water there, so I'm gonna pick some up with my paintbrush. And now I'm gonna take some of this reddish color that I have, also add it in. It's a little bit orange. Um, and again, I still have too much water, so we'll just pick some of that up. And this one, because I don't have the pencil around, I can kind of just adjust the shape as I see fit. I'm gonna go a little bit around the other side, remembering to keep some white in there, just so that we can see more, more definition. All right, so now we're gonna let that one dry. Going back to my smaller paintbrush, and I'm gonna paint one more lemon slice. So for this part, feel free to draw your circle out before. I'm just gonna freehand it. And I'm going to put one right down here. Practicing my circle skills here. <laughs> I like with these kind of paintings, you honestly really don't need to be too picky about how perfect everything looks. Just have fun with it. All right, so like I did with the first one, drew a tiny little dot in the middle. Now we're gonna paint our triangles all going towards the center. So I'm doing about three or four at a time just to make sure that they don't dry too much. Now we'll go in, add some yellow. So the reason I like to paint them just with water first is because I don't want them to be too dark. I really like that sort of translucent look, especially as we add some details later. It's nice to make sure that we start with a nice and really light color, because especially with something like yellow, it's harder, harder to go back once we've, once we've painted it in darker, but So those ones I did start with a bit more yellow, so that was a little less translucent, but that's okay. We'll add a bit of darker yellow in. Just gonna even some of these out. Okay, and now we're gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna add in one more lemon slice up here. 
So again, feel free to draw this in ahead of time, but I'm just gonna freehand, we're gonna do half C, sort of facing towards the outside this time, so. Right, and from either end, I'm gonna do a little dot in the center. Oh, got a little bit of water on there. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and paint our triangles. So starting either with the water or with like a really, really light yellow, you guys can paint your triangles in. Um, and that one I think I let dry a little too long, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. In the meantime, these ones have already dried, so I just want to erase my pencil right now before I forget, because once I put paint on top, it gets a lot harder to do. I smudged my one lemon a little bit, so I'm just gonna go in with some water and I'll clean it up with my napkin. There's still a little bit of yellow there, but that's okay for this design. We might be, yeah, just splattering some paint on after, so that is okay. All right, next thing we're gonna do is paint in some leaves. So I'm just gonna have them branching off of the lemons. We'll start with this one down here. I'm gonna use my pencil as a guide for this just for the stem and then we'll paint the leaves off. So coming from this lemon, I'm doing a little curved line coming up. We'll do another curved line heading towards the top of the page, another one towards the bottom, and I don't all have them all extending from the same spot. I kind of scattered them. So now we're gonna erase the pencil line, make it as light as possible and I'm gonna go in with my bigger paintbrush and some green. So I have some green on my palette here. Just wanna mix it with some yellow to make it warmer. And I might take a few colors from my art philosophy palette as well. So these we're just doing sort of longer, skinnier, really loose and wavy leaves. And I want it a bit darker, so I'll take a little bit more paint there. So starting with the tip of my paintbrush down, I'm applying pressure as I pull back, but I'm giving it a bit of a curve shape. And then I'm going back to this inside line just to smooth it out a little bit. So I'll show you guys again on the other side, tip of my paintbrush down bit of a wave, and then I'll just straighten out the line. I often leave some white space in the center that just acts as the vein of the leaf. Now, while I'm here and it's wet still, I'm gonna go in and add just some darker details, or not quite details, more, more just shading. So I'm just dotting in some of my darker paint and then We'll add in a little bit of yellow later, but. All right, so we'll do another one coming down this way. So tip of my paintbrush is down. This one might be a little trickier to see. Just 
really loose, wavy leaf. And then I'm gonna add in just a little bit of darker paint there. And I'm doing this all while it's still wet, so I can just sort of let it do its thing. And then I had one more line coming up here, so we'll do one more leaf. You'll notice that I don't have them all super even. I sort of have them clustered a little bit. So if you guys need more practice specifically with painting watercolor leaves, feel free to check out my tutorial on how to paint watercolor leaves for beginners, which should help with just some of these basic concepts for a lot of the different types of leaves that I paint. So we're gonna leave it at that. I am going to add more details, but I will do that once it's dried. So now we're gonna do this lemon over here. So same idea, I'm just adding a cluster of leaves. I had a bit too much water, so I'm just gonna mix it in there. With the leaves too, you guys feel free to decide how many or how few leaves you want and where your placement is. I often will just add until I am happy with how it looks. So this one I'm adding a few more and then I will be adding the stem in later. But while it's still wet, we're gonna do the same thing and go in with our darker green. Just sort of dot it into some places, which we'll see it more as it dries. And again, it's all looking very messy now, but I am gonna add some more details in in a little bit, so I'm okay with that. All right, so while we're painting leaves, I am also just gonna scatter a few throughout the painting that are just on their own. So again, tip of my paintbrush down, give it a little bit of a wave, Right here, I think I'm just gonna do a little cluster of two leaves on their own. And then we can go in with our dark paint. And this one, I think I added the paint when it was a little too dry, so I'm just gonna blend it in just a tiny bit, which we will be adding some more details to that soon, so that is okay. And then I'm just kind of looking at the balance of this. I sort of have green spread this way. I want a little bit more over here, which just helps to draw the eye across the painting. So we'll do a little cluster this way. And this time I'll do three leaves. So again, with this part, depending on where you guys put your lemons, you can add as few or as many leaves as you want. So I'm just gonna go in with the darker green now. Okay, and we're gonna let that dry and go back to working on the details in our lemons. All right, so now I want you guys to grab your small paintbrush. I'm using my number two brush here. Just rinsing it off because it looked like it still had some paint on from my last, last thing I painted. Okay, and now we're going to add the details into our lemons. So what I want you guys to do, kind of got my yellow mixed with some green there, so I'm just gonna take from this end here and just move it over on my palette. So I have my yellow, I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of red just to get more of an orangey color from it. And with my small paintbrush, we'll start from where 
the pencil dot was. We're just gonna draw, or not draw, paint. A little circle in the center. So I sort of say circle, it's more of a splotch. It's not really a perfect circle. So we're gonna do that for all of these. So just a little circular splotch of paint. And then for these ones, we're gonna do half circle. And I didn't erase the pencil on that one. So we'll do that now. Just make sure that it's all gone. Okay, perfect. And now with the same paint, this time I'm gonna take a little bit more yellow into it. With each of my triangles, we're gonna add some details. So it's gonna be some really fine lines. So I'm gonna start from the outside and I'm painting really skinny lines in. If it's tricky with the paintbrush that you guys have, then feel free to grab something a little bit skinnier than this. I'm just being careful to use right at the tip so that I get a nice fine line. And you'll notice that I'm not necessarily painting with a totally different color. It's just a darker tone of the yellow, essentially. So not all straight and uniform. I just have some scattered, scattered lines. I'm clustering them more towards the top and I'm fading them out as I near the bottom. And at this point too, I can bring my triangles closer together just to make them look like they were a little bit more intentionally painted. So you'll notice a difference right away on how much more the lemon stands out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now for all of our triangles. Okay, so now that we've finished that, we're gonna work on just some details on our edges. So taking sort of that same mixture of yellow, burnt orange, we are gonna go along the edge and I'm just gonna paint in. I'm not fully following the line, but I just wanna add a little bit of shading. So some spots I have a really, really thin line and then I can bring it down a bit. So essentially now we're just adding more and more detail to the painting. So you'll notice, same with this one, I'm going around, I'm following the edge, really thin line some spots. So I'll add more pressure to my paintbrush and make it thinner, or sorry, thicker in others. And I'll do that to all of the lemons. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna add some more detail into our lemons. So this is gonna be very minimal, but I want you to get a nice bright, oops, getting some green in there. <laughs> some nice bright reddish orange. All right, so I'm sort of ending up with a muddy mess over here. So I'm just gonna dry up some of the green so that it stops getting into my yellow there. I'm getting more pigmented paint here of the red tone and in the center, I'm just gonna get some of the water off there. And in the center, I'm just gonna dot it in. So I just wanna add some deeper color. So you'll notice each layer that we add, the lemon seem to pop more, which is essentially what we're going for. So now, with this color, I'm gonna go into my actual lemon pieces and I'm gonna go over and add some more lines, but this time very minimally. So again, we're starting from the top and we're just pulling some of the color down.
So by adding this red in, we're just adding some more definition to our lemons. I wanna be careful not to add too much, otherwise it's gonna start looking more like a blood orange than a lemon. That is not what we want. So you'll notice very, very minimally adding in this color. Just a couple sort of line splotches coming down. For some of them, I'm starting more at the corners, some I'm starting more centrally. If you guys are painting along with me, honestly, such a good thing to do is to actually take a lemon and cut some slices because you'll notice kind of the shading and the shapes in, in each piece when you're looking at it, which is just super helpful for painting. And it's a really good way just to practice and improve your skills if you're looking at something while you're trying to paint it. So you guys should notice a difference right away now that I've painted that, that the lemons stand out so much more. Um, because I started with everything really light, some of the yellow has definitely faded as it's dried. So I actually wanna go in and add some more bright yellow. Um, and I'm just gonna grab a different palette because I've sort of muddied my yellows <laughs> over here. All right, so I have my um, Art Philosophy watercolor confetti set that has lots of different options for different yellows I can paint with, which should help me get what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm just gonna just clean up some of these a little bit so that I'm not getting any green in there. And what I would normally do is, yeah, either take a different yellow or I would put some more yellow down on my palette somewhere where there aren't any other colors, just to make sure that I'm not getting that mixture. Okay, so I can see on my napkin now, I have a nice, bright, vibrant yellow. So we're gonna go back in and from the center, I'm sort of gonna do the same concept and do little lines moving up. So again, I really want the translucent background to show through. I don't want to completely fill it in and cover that. And at this time too, I can sort of straighten out my triangles more if I need. Let's fix it on that corner there. So some spots I can fill in more, some spots I'm just being careful to just do the little lines. Now I can also add in some yellow into the top parts here. And I'm sort of just scribbling it in essentially. Again, just to make sure that I'm keeping it looking like a lemon and not an orange. All right, perfect. So. We have those lemons. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really water down this yellow on my palette. And I'm gonna do a really light thin line just along this first, or along essentially the, the peel. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to be careful to keep white space, but I just wanna add, add another layer in there. And if you want with these round ones, you can kind of curve it in at each triangle shape. So 
you'll see I'm just adding a little curve in there. We'll do the same with this one. So if I accidentally fully cover the white space in some spots, it is very okay. Just want to fill it in a little bit more so it doesn't look so separated and it's kind of blocky with its colors. <laughs> it's probably a better way to describe that. <laughs> but you guys get the idea. Alright, so same with this one. So it's a very subtle addition that I've made, but when you're taking a close look at the painting, you can notice the difference. Also, I did get some more yellow on my paper there, but that's okay. I will try to take a little bit of it off, so I'm going into my clean water, just adding it on top. I'm trying to paint it away and then I'll lift that up. I do have a video on how to fix watercolor mistakes if you guys are interested. Okay, so now we are gonna go back to our bigger lemons. So with watercolor, you guys will notice that I often jump around quite a bit. The reason for this is that you're always waiting for layers to dry. So I find it's more time effective to kind of paint your first layer of everything and then go back to the second. So I'm just bringing some of my yellow over here onto my palette. And now where we added that shading at the bottom, I just wanna add more. So here I'm essentially doing a glaze by painting directly over top. So I'm keeping to that bottom section where I had added more color and I'm painting right over top of that. This is something that's really fun and you can get really cool effects with the more that you practice it. If you guys want to see a video on glazing specifically, let me know because there's a lot of different techniques that you can do that include more, more color mixing and things like that. All right, so I'm gonna leave that for now. I will probably add another layer in a little bit, but we're gonna have to come back to it. Um, and I'm just actually gonna add a little bit more, so I sort of took that orangey color again. And I'm just coming very lightly across the top just so that we have some more definition. I'm just gonna blend that in a bit. Perfect, so we're gonna come back and add a bit more to those lemons before we finish. But now, jumping around again, we're gonna work on our leaves. So I'm gonna add the stems in. For our purposes today, we want more, more of a brown color, so I kind of have this purplish color mixed up here. You guys can use, yeah, just any, any color of brown. And if I add a little bit of yellow into that, it should get me what I want. Red. So with some blue, perfect. All right, so from my leaves, we'll start with this one down here. From the base, we're gonna do a line coming towards the lemon, and then I'm just doing a little sort of blotch <laughs> circle at the bottom for where it attaches to. And we'll do the rest of ours coming in. So this one I'm just gonna have coming in behind and attaching there. So now, same concept for all of these. This one's not necessarily attached to anything, so I'll just do the little branches coming up. And then this one will attach it to the lemon. So again, little blotch to start with. And then 
these ones I'm just gonna have it look like it's coming behind. All right, now we're gonna, oh, I missed one there. We'll do this one first. And then we'll add some details to our leaves. Perfect. Okay, so now with this mixture that I made, I'm gonna take some of the brown, I'm gonna add some green. And I'm gonna use that color to add some details to my leaves. Um, I might also just add a little bit of dark green in there. So essentially, I'm just using a darker green and we're gonna go down the middle of your leaf. And we're just gonna do that with all our leaves. So some of them I have it a little darker, some it's not so dark. Again, none of my lines are perfectly straight. Everything kind of has a very random little curve to it. I really like doing that with my loose leaves. So now I'm gonna make the color a little bit darker. And we can mix in some of this yellow here. All right, so now we're just gonna add some details coming up from the middle. So essentially I'm doing diagonal lines just stemming up. This is to work as the veins of the leaf. So I don't want them perfectly straight or uniform. <laughs> just sort of randomly putting them out. So again, it's all kind of in keeping with this just really natural sort of messy look with the leaves. Sometimes if I'm painting things more precise and more detailed, I'll be a little bit more picky about how the water dries. But I find that, especially with this style, once you add details on top, it honestly just adds to the painting. So I will often just leave it how it is. It's the fun thing, especially about allowing colors to mix and bleed as you're painting. You don't necessarily know exactly what you're gonna get in the end, but it definitely just adds to the intrigue of the painting. All right, so you'll notice I'm just doing the same thing with all the leaves. And I think the trick with this is you don't want the lines to look too stark, which is essentially why I do tone on tone. So I'm painting green on green, just a darker tone of it. And now just to tie it in a little better with everything else we have going on, I'm gonna take some of my watered down yellow here and I'm just gonna paint it into some sections. So you almost don't see the yellow specifically, but it just brightens up the leaves and gives some of it a bit more of like a lime green color. So that's the leaves and now we are going to finish off with our lemons and we are just about done. All right, so now with the lemons, I'm gonna continue with the same concept of just adding a bit more of a glaze, but this time I'm going back into sort of that more reddish orange color, taking my big paintbrush again for this.
And now I'm not gonna go into as big of a shape. I'm gonna go a little smaller. And I need a bit more color in there. So once I have that painted on, I'm just gonna clean my paintbrush in my water. And I'm just gonna blend in the edge a little bit. I can even bring it up the bottom here. And now with my lemon, I'm just gonna go back to my medium sized paintbrush. A little bit more control. I'm gonna go back into my yellow that I was using and just add some sort of at the top. So again, I'm sort of just splotching it in. I'm being careful to leave a section that's just fully pure white. But I just wanna add some more definition around the edge. All right, so that is everything for our lemon painting. If you guys wanted to add more, you can definitely take some watered down yellow, orangish red, green paint and just splatter it all over. That's something that is very fun to do for this style of painting. Or another thing that I sometimes do is go back in with ink and outline everything. But otherwise, I hope that you guys followed along and have a nice summery painting of your own. Thanks for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you painted along with me, make sure to take a picture, tag me on Instagram at Alexandra Victoria Studio. I love to see what you guys are learning, so please do share. Also make sure to like this video, comment below what kind of summer things you'd like to learn next, and subscribe. See you next time.